Hi everybody, my name's Steph Allen, I'm a hairdressing tutor here at Hugh Bear College. So today I'm going to show you the sectioning pattern for a uh, hair and bone section working with foils. Um, so first of all I'll show what's on my trolley. So I've got my colour ready to use, I've got my sectioning clips, I prefer clips to clamps, just find them a little bit tidy and less bulky. Foils, all ripped ready, plenty of them. A tissue to wipe the end of my pintail comb. Um, in between if I'm taking foils through. So the hair at the moment is all combed back so I'm going to first of all put a centre part on it and I'm going to use the nose as my guide. So I'm going to comb that down and then I've got a mirror to the left so I'm just going to turn the head so I can check it. So I just want to come slightly over this way. So always use your mirror for your section, especially putting a centre part in them. It will help you. Okay. So, once that's done. I'm then going to work from the crown, or just under the crown, and take a quarter of the hair, quarter of the head. So it's a little bit like when you're doing your hot cross bun section, and you're going to be working with the two front sections on this today. So this is a section and pattern that you could use for uh, half a head of foils or you could use it just for top foils um, so or parting and couple down the sides, quarter head, it can be adapted loads. So then I've got the back of the hair that I'm not really going to be working with too much today so I'm just going to put a clamp in that so it's out the way and then what I'm going to do with this section is halfway down from the centre I'm just going to go take a horizontal section like this and you don't want this section at the top any wider than the width of your foil so I'm just making sure that's nice and clean really important when you're working with any sort of precise foil and sections that you do keep your sections really really clean and that there's no baby hairs in the way. So I'm pulling this nice and tight and I'm just going to put a little bun in that section there winding the hair right out the way so there's going to be nothing hanging down and I'm going to use my Kirby grips to secure that out the way nice and tight. Same with this one, just nice and secure. So with this you can use either the temples as a guide or where the natural, the hairline naturally starts to recede, but generally it's about halfway down. And then again secure that one. So you can see that by using the Kirby grips you've got nothing taken over any other section so it's all contained to each section and I'm going to do the same again on this side so about halfway down nice horizontal section using the ends of your pin tile keep it sort of touching the scalp all the time because if you try and take your section up here you're going to end up with a little bit of a jagged line so you need to make sure you are using the end of the pintail and it's going right along the scalp obviously not too harshly so I'm lifting that up and then same again keep your sections nice and tight And you take your Kirby grips. Okay. So there's your section. I'm just gonna again just check because you want to check. What I do is, if I've got, when I've got the mirror in front of me, I'd always put my fingers on these two lines, again, to check 
that they are halfway down and all of your four sections are nice and even and it's symmetrical on both sides. So if I'm doing, if when I start with my foils, I'm going to start on this section, then go on to this section and do the top two last. Okay, so if you want to watch the next video, which will be the hair and bone technique from pretty much start to finish, uh, tune in for that one. Thank you. All right.